Good day. Welcome to Weekend Thoughts. My name is Hannah Tomaji. On the headlines today, President Buhari commends security agencies for dealing with Nandikanu and Iboho. NYSC certificate controversy. Court ruling has vindicated me. Adiosu. Police Service Commission rejects Magu's promotion. On 2022 budget, federal government plans to fund 5.62 trillion Naira deficit with extra loan. On business news, Naira weakens at official market as forex liquidity improves by 55%. On entertainment, Nollywood actress Stella Damascus advised women to learn how to defend themselves from abusive partners. And on sports, Gaube United beat Lion Star 5-1. We have this and more after this break. President Mohamed Buhari on Tuesday commended the nation's security and intelligence agencies for their work in arresting secessionist Nandikanu and raiding the home of Yoruba nation activist Sonde Igboho. The president's praise was contained in a statement signed by his spokesperson, Garbashehu. According to the statement, President Buhari said the security agencies demonstrated significant deftness guilt and secrecy in carrying out these missions. This level of professionalism must be sustained and brought to bear as we focus on extracting from our society those who have found a new trade in targeting students, rural dwellers and our citizens in the Northwest. Former Minister of Finance Kemi Adeoshun has reacted to the court's ruling on the case involving her participation in the National Youth Service Corps, NYSC. In a statement issued on Wednesday, Adeoshun said the ruling vindicates her after what she described as a very traumatic spell. She described the situation as victory not only for her, but for many Nigerians in the diaspora under similar conditions who desire to serve their country. My lawyers have informed me of the judgment by the Federal High Court Abuja in the case of Folakemi Adeoshun versus the Attorney General of the Federation, FHC ABJ CS 303-2021 in which the court presided over by Honorable Justice Taiwo Taiwo ruled that the Constitution does not require me to present my first degree certificate or any other certificate, including the NYSC certificate to be appointed a minister, the former minister said. The Police Service Commission on Thursday rejected the promotion of Ibrahim Magu a former acting chairman of Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC. The commission said Magu would not be promoted until he is cleared at the office of the Attorney General of the Federation and Minister of Justice and the office of the Inspector General of Police over his recent corruption allegations. Recall that Mr. Magu was arrested in July 2020 and made to appear before a presidential panel investigating allegations of corruption and insubordination leveled against him by Abubakar Malami, Nigeria's Justice Minister. Mr. Magu and Mr. Malami have had a repeated disagreement on the anti-corruption war and many Nigerians, including a member of a presidential committee on anti-corruption, Femi Ade Kunle, believed Mr. Magu's ordeal is part of a power play with Mr. Malami. The federal government has revealed plans to fund a budget deficit of 5.62 trillion naira with extra loans. The Minister of Finance, Budget and National Planning, Zainab Ahmed, 
disclosed this while speaking at a media briefing after the Federal Executive Council meeting on Wednesday. Ahmed explained that the budget deficit projection for 2022, which is 5.62 trillion naira, up from 5.60 trillion naira in 2021, represents 3.05% of the estimated GDP, slightly above the 3% threshold if the deems it fit in a national security crisis situation. The deficit, she added, will be financed by foreign and domestic borrowing in the sum of 4.89 trillion naira, privatization proceeds of 90.73 billion naira, and from existing project titles of 335 billion naira. In terms of total expenditure, Ahmed says Council approved an aggregate of 13.98 trillion naira, while the nation's foreign reserves was pegged at $34.2 billion as at the end of May. Taraba State Governor Darius Ishaku says that as part of the country's efforts to combat insecurity, members of the National Youth Service Corps, NYSC, should be allowed to undergo military training. The governor, who was a guest on Channel TV's Politics Today on Wednesday, also said the scheme should be extended to, to two years with the first involving core military training. NYC, which runs for a year, was designed by the Nigerian government in 1973 to encourage nation building among graduates. But the governor believes that an extension of the duration would better equip graduates with self-defense techniques, especially at a time like this, when national security is now rife. And now business news. The exchange rate between the Naira and the U.S. dollar closed at 411.45 Naira per dollar at the investors and exporters window where Forex is traded officially. Naira depreciated against the U.S. dollar on Tuesday, having lost 32 Kobo to close at 411.45 Naira per dollar compared to 411.13 Naira per dollar, recorded on Monday, 5th July, 2021. Meanwhile, the Naira was stable at the parallel market as it closed at 503 Naira to a dollar. This was the same rate that was recorded in the previous trading session. Also, Nigeria's external reserve continues to plunge as it heads to its lowest position in four years and a year-to-date decline of over $2 billion. On entertainment news, Nollywood veteran Stella Damascus has advised women to learn how to defend themselves from abusive partners. The movie star made this known while reacting to the comments she got from men after she shared a clip from a movie on her Instagram page. In the clip, a woman walked into her husband cheating and instead of the stereotype reaction of sobbing or denial, she attacked him with her martial skills. For me, posting that video was not in any form of promoting domestic violence, she said. According to Damascus, the reason she posted the video was to show a different side of the story, a side different from typical Nigerian movie where the man would abuse or send the wife out of the house. The actress slammed those who questioned her motive behind the release of the video. Your platform and your, your itchy fingers to talk about it and warn men to stop hitting women, you have never. But because the roles are reversed, all the men are coming out to say, it's not good. Every woman that's supporting this, you are supporting violence. We are not supporting violence. But you know what I'm supporting? I'm supporting every woman to be able to stand up for herself. If you have an opportunity to learn martial arts for self-defense, learn it. So that any man that wants to lay hand on you, molest you, or rape you, or whatever, you at least have a skill 
in your life to be able to push them, strike and run for help. And now sports news. The APC chairmanship candidate in Kuje Area Council, Honorable Hamidu Sarki Gaube, popularly known as Talba, alongside some top APC party stalwarts in the council, kicked off 2021 Talba Unity Cup competition finals in Gaube last week Sunday. The said football competition is aimed at engaging and uniting the people of Kuje, most especially the youths. The final football competition between Gaube United and Lion Star ended up 5-1, with Gaube United taking the lead. The organizer and sponsor of the competition, Honorable Hamid Usarki Gaube, in his remarks, appreciated the peaceful conduct and support of the good people of Gaube Ward throughout this year's football competition and he promised to show more commitment towards the use of sporting activities as panacea to promote peace amongst the youth of the council. He further said when elected into the office as the executive chairman of Kuje Area Council come February 12, 2022, he will prioritize sports in the council. The reports. So those who have won today, congratulations to them. And those who also lost, congratulations to them. The purpose of this is not just actually to win, but what lesson have we learned? That is the reason why all competitions like this are organized, is to give a message and to give a lesson. Have we learned some, something from this? That is the primary purpose. And I hope those who participate and we who have come to watch have been able to learn a lot of things. And we wrap it all up on Weekend Thoughts for this week. See you next time.